What are International Railway Solutions? Practically since its creation, rail transport has been about technical harmonisation and compatibility. Compatibility between infrastructure and tracks and the rolling stock that operates on these tracks. Compatibility between locomotives and various sources of energy supply. Compatibility between the trains that operate on a network thanks to signalling and traffic management systems designed to protect the trains from accidental contact and collisions with other trains or obstacles. For rail traffic operations to be compatible, they must adhere to common rules based on technical harmonisation. Technical harmonisation enables connections to be made between railway lines and, on a larger scale, between railway networks thus enabling large intercontinental corridors to link several continents by rail. Technical railway harmonisation has been the aim of UIC, the International Union of Railways, since its creation in 1922. Its members, the world's railways, have over the years developed the UIC code, comprising UIC leaflets, which define the common rules to ensure safety and efficiency in railway transport operations. However, what does technical harmonisation involve today, in the 21st century? It is based on three basic foundations. First of all, on the regulations enacted by the states and international bodies, such as, for example, the European Commission. These rules are legally binding. Then there are the standards published by standardisation bodies. They conduct work on the basic components of the railway system, whether mechanic, electric, IT or energy-based. The standards define the characteristics and expected performance of the equipment to meet a set of requirements. Manufacturers are particularly active in this area, as are railways, though to a slightly lesser degree. Finally, there is rail's contribution in the shape of sector standards. The railways are also interested in how the components work, but within the context of their railway system. The components are nowadays interdependent. They interact with a whole range of different working environments and cultures. It is this reality and global dimension that is of interest to UIC members. For every relevant subject, volunteer railways develop guidelines for good practice. They produce recommendations which then serve as professional standards and which are used to ensure harmonisation and economic efficiency in the railways. This work is formalised through the International Railway Solutions, the IRSs, and so UIC leaflets will gradually become IRSs. Thus UIC acts as a standard-setting organisation. So that, in short, explains the UIC IRSs. They are the outcome of independent work conducted by the railway operators in order to harmonise the railways in an efficient and realistic way. Though the IRSs have replaced the UIC leaflets, they have kept their universal and global objective. They help the railways in their aim to serve society and the economy.